Hi everyone. I've been enjoying everyone's videos on the new Jane Davenport collection that was released at Michael's this winter. The problem for me is I can't get any of that product right now where I live. So I'll need to wait to pick up this product when I get back to the States to visit this spring. In particular, I love the new Jane Davenport collage papers. Now in essence what these are, are her designs with that bold watercolor um, that's printed on napkins. And napkins, it's, this is not a new technique. Napkins have been used for many years with mixed media, um, art journaling, and also uh, for journals as well as for canvas art. The nice thing about when you use tissue is that when you apply it with the gel medium, um, the any area that's white pretty much goes transparent. So it's like you can see the color from the other side, whatever background you had, will show through. And the more layers that you put, the better it looks. So I really love her papers. And if you want to see how to use them, she has a really good web uh, video on her website, which is marked here. And if you scroll down underneath that product, there'll be a video. So I already watched that video, so it's showing me some other products. But you can see how to use those collage papers. Now the price isn't bad in the States. At Michael's right now it's $9.99. And I'm imagining you can probably use your 40% off coupon that they release each week. But since I can't get those yet, um, I thought I would try another method while I'm here to kind of be able to get the same look. So I received an email this morning from one of my favorite digital supply companies called SnapClickSupply.com. You've probably seen me reference them um, because they also carry digital scrapbook kits that I import into my Silhouette Cameo and I also import into my Cricut Explore Air. Um, that's another video, uh, but this particular one, I'm going to show you a watercolor paper pack that's on sale this week. Um, this Wednesday. So every Wednesday they have something, a sale called One Buck Wednesday. So you can click on sale and go to One Buck Wednesday and everything that's within this section is one dollar. So I'm sorry but if you're watching this video on a different day this sale is probably gone and you might have to wait for it to reappear again another time or uh, pay full price. The paper pack is usually four dollars but today, this one is a dollar. This one is called Watercolor Paradise Paper Pack. So it gives you a description over here that there's 10 digital patterned papers. They are formatted for 12 by 12, but you can print them out on any size. My printer's 8.5 by 11, so that's what I'll use today. Well, let me zoom in. The reason why I like this one so much is the colors are really bold. So even in the future, um, when I get my hands finally on some of her uh, wonderful collage papers, these will blend well with them. Um, I love this one here, splashes of the purple, the violets, and the blues. And then also these, they have some florals, but they're not too flowery either. So I'm going to add that one to the cart. Another one that's available is called Peaceful Harmony Paper Pack. Again, this one is a dollar. My favorite one out of this package is this Harlequin design right here. So it has the blues and the pinks and the violets. So both of those paper packs really match what's going on in my traveler's notebook right now. And also when I add more Jane Davenport's items in the future. As many of you know, if you've seen my traveler's notebook, um, inside I've had the, I created the Peerless palette um, from the Jane Davenport collection. The colors are just so vibrant and they show so well on, on the paper. So let's see what we can do with these digital packs after we download them. After you purchase your files, you download them to your computer and you'll notice that they are a zipped file. It'll say .zip and it'll have this zipper right here. That means you can't use that file just the way it is. You'll need to right click on it and extract. 
So you're going to extract all of those into a folder where you'll be able to find them. And I usually click Show Extracted Files When Complete just so I can make sure I put them in the right folder. So I'm going to click Extract. And now my computer is going to open that folder for me as once as it's done. And here they are. You can ignore the little blue arrows for now. What I do is I sync anything that I purchase uh, digitally. I sync it with my Google Drive. Um, it's a type of cloud service. That way, if my computer crashes, I don't lose everything that I purchased because a lot of these digital websites have expiration dates as far as either um, how many times you're allowed to download the same file or for a number of days. I don't remember Snap Click Supplies. I think it's like 90 days, something like that. Maybe it's five months, somewhere within there, but then I can't get it again without purchasing it. So I make sure to always back these up into a, a digital um, cloud service somewhere. So this was the Peaceful Harmony Paper Pack. And I'll just go ahead and click on these so that you can see them full size. So there's the one that's the Harlequin design. It's really pretty. So if you want to print this out on your 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, so once as you have it open, all you have to do is click Print and it'll automatically assize it to what you have going on with your printer. So see mine is set for 8.5 by 11 and full page, fill page, color mode. So I'm going to go print this and then I'll show you some copies of what they look like after I print them out. Okay, so now I've printed everything out and I hope you can see okay. I'm filming this at night but the place where we're living has these great halogen lights. So one happens to be right over my craft desk. So I think the lighting is pretty good. It's just I'm gonna get some pretty dark shadows where my hands are. So I took those papers and I printed them out onto, um, it's called grease proof paper here in Ecuador. I'm not sure if it's considered wax paper um, in the States. It's very thin. It does not feel waxy. Um, it almost feels like bakery paper to me. Um, the paper that you use to pick up like donuts at the donut shop or whatever. That's what it feels like to me. Now my inkjet printer printed on it very well. It looks absolutely beautiful and perfect just like this. So my attempt here is to make collage papers. So this was one. And then this is the one that had that Harlequin design that I really liked. Again, it came out crystal clear. This is a very pale blue. And you'll note if I put the pink checkers behind it, you can see through it. So that's what's neat about collaging these types of papers with their layers. These I've already kind of played with a little bit, so I tore some pieces off. But you can see they printed very well. And then this was the pattern with the peacocks. Now this one I added like a contact paper film over it just to see what it would look like. Um, can make a nice dashboard or cover for, um, for your own DIY, what do you call it? notebooks. Because I'm thinking about making some of my own inserts. Um, I would probably use a heavier cardstock instead of a thin paper and then put this contact paper over it and it gives it a perfect finish. So those are just some ideas of what you can do with those digital paper collections after you download them. But if you're gonna use them for mixed media, like what I want to use them for, with an inkjet printer, you have to seal your product one way or another. So I did a lot of research on YouTube <laughs> to see how other people had trial and errored with it. And my first one was a major error. Um, the first item I tried was this gel medium by Faber-Castell. Because I had heard on several videos, including Debbie's, Hello Debbie, 
that um, you can use matte medium. Well, don't confuse acrylic matte medium with some of the other gel mediums that are out there. It may be brand specific as to what works and what doesn't, but this one, let me show you the results. When I used my paintbrush, that's the result I got. It just completely smeared the design. It is totally gone. So don't use this. <clears throat> so one that I tried was the Aileen's Tacky Glue. This worked very well. Um, it didn't hardly smear at all. This one corner did on this piece, but as you can tell, it retained the design very well. Now it kind of, it, it doesn't really stick to itself, but I would worry about closing my journal and having it sealed for a long period of time and then it sticking. So if I use this, I would use it on a canvas that you're not going to be uh, closing something over it, or I would put it, protect it with a piece of um, wax paper in between or parchment paper um, in between your two pages so that they don't stick onto each other. So that's the only thing I didn't like about it. But as far as making it waterproof, it works very well. So I'll show you an example. Here's my water brush. Let me get the water going. And so, here we go. We drip some water. And you'll see there is no smudging at all. So that does seal it so that you're able to use a inkjet uh, printout onto your, um, onto your mixed media journal. So that was Aileen's Tacky Glue. The next one I tried is probably the best. Um, this is a Winsor & Newton acrylic medium matte medium so it's matte medium for acrylic paints so this is the one i had seen demonstrated by debbie her youtube on here is i think it's artsology i'll link her down below what she did is she used a different brand but she used an acrylic matte medium on top of a jelly plate i can't get a jelly plate here right now so i just had to do it on my glass top here along with a brayer and all you do is brush the um, gel medium on your matte surface or your piece of glass put your paper face down on it and then roll it out and squeegee it and then you lift up and then when you do you've layered this with some of that acrylic matte medium. So let's test this now with some water. Oh, let me show you one more thing. So here's the page that I did it on. This is not because of the matte medium. That was my printer. Um, you'll see right here, There's a. you'll see a line. This is where my matte medium ended. All of this portion here and through here, I used the matte medium. This is my original printout on this side. So you'll see a slight, um, it does make the pigment darker when you add the matte medium to your inkjet printing. So I was still fine with that. I wanted the vibrancy. And then I played with um, my metallic gelatos and I just rubbed in a spot right there and you can see it held it just fine. So if I were to add water, this is a good way to show you. So let's take this portion here where I have had added the gel medium. I added water and you see nothing moved. You can see the shininess where I added the water just now. No smudging, no blurring. Watch this spot right here, right when I take the brush to it. So that is what would happen if I did not put matte medium on this inkjet printout. 
Now this has had about a week to cure or to dry, so it didn't smear as badly as the ones that I messed with on the very first day. Um, but it's definitely smearing, and of course, the more gel I add or the more liquid, the worse that's going to get. So um, the matte medium is my absolute favorite. It really seals very well and works great. Now the last one that I tried is just regular hairspray. Um, this one is a three-hold hairspray. I'm curious if I got the five, if that would be even better. But this is what I happen to have in my bathroom. Let me clean my brush off real quick. Okay. So on these, I sprayed the hairspray. And the hairspray does work pretty well as, as well. So you'll see here, I added the gelato on top of it, along with a little bit of water, and it has that shimmer. And it looks really good. So um, the hairspray works too, but I do find that if I use too much water, that it will still smear a little bit. So let's put this to the test. See how it does today. It's not bad, it's sealed pretty good. I'm actually moving my gelato around that's on top more than I am any inks. So in a pinch, um, I think hairspray works just as good as the matte medium if you put more than one layer. I think I put two layers of hairspray on this um, and it seems to be holding the color just fine. So I did it on this piece as well. So let's try it. This is a little more detailed. This has the peacocks and the ferns. So let's add a heavy dousing of water to it and see what happens. Okay, so this one you'll be able to see a little bit better. So you'll see this peacock smeared ever so slightly. Um, that part I might have missed with when I did the spray um, but I did put a lot of water on here just now and so that is a more detailed print the flowers are still holding but my peacock got a little blurry in one spot and I think it's because I missed that spot with the hairspray so hairspray does pretty good as well um, I would say that my most favorite because of its permanency is the matte medium no matter how much water you add that matte medium is not going to come up Whereas I feel that the more water I add um, to the hairspray product makes the hairspray come up and then it eventually bleeds a little bit. So just as a quick review, this was the Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. This is the Windsor & Newton Acrylic Matte Medium. And this was just some hairspray. So my favorite is definitely the matte medium. If you can find a jelly plate, then that will be even better. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how I'm actually using these collage papers inside of my traveler's notebook to journal our journey here in Ecuador. Thanks for watching.